The feds looked into the Yogati situation and they resolved it by putting a restraining order on the entire CMG team. They basically are saying that they can't be walking around or doing the shows together because that's going to pose a big like threat or issue inside of Memphis, especially in Memphis. Right now, Yogati has not came back to Memphis since his brother's passing and everything like that. Since the people who actually like seen them together knew that he was with him and this is the main reason why he was pointed out and there he was followed in the first place this all leads back to the beef with young Dolph and this is the main reason why this whole thing keeps on happening like this whole CMG versus PRE has been going on for multiple multiple years and if you guys are fans of young Dolph I want you to comment down below put the Dolph emojis in the comment section let me know where y'all from and if you rocking with Dolph because at the end of the day People are looking at this and they're realizing that Yogati and them, they're getting what they deserved. They should have left Young Dolph alone a long time ago. And the people in Memphis, the sources, really know what's going on between the cookie shop, Yogati, and Young Dolph in the PRE camp because they know that they're all close together. It's a small town out there in Memphis. And so people know that Yogati and the hitters, they know the folks at the cookie shop. And this is why a lot of people feel that Young Dolph got set up and he got backdoored if you really pay attention and look at it young Dolph he should have paid attention to a lot of people who was close around him he he trusted the cookie shop enough to actually book them to do the sh music video and then that's when somebody dropped the location this is the same reason why big jook's location got dropped and black youngster's brother as soon as he got spotted at that gas station they dropped the low and the dude's been around the block and they basically walked him down in broad daylight and they still got away with it because the feds have not actually gotten anybody for the black youngster's brother hit and they haven't gotten anybody for the big joke hit because those were all basically planned and med like premeditated to the point where they knew they were going to get some get back they knew they were watching these people and so eventually once the time came around where they showed their face around memphis this is what made it to where they actually were able to go ahead and have somebody drop the location because whoever was closest to them was the ones who gave out the location young Dolph location was dropped and a lot of people had some some belief that the cookie shop raven 901 trigger trade they knew young Dolph was coming that day and why is it that raven opened up the cookie shop she said at 9 a.m and the next thing you know 30 minutes later Dolph arm is sticking out the window with the bentley truck driving by when they got subpoenaed the footage for young Dolph and they played it back they seen the black bentley driving by slowly and you could see big jook's forehead and Yogati in the front seat and this is the same reason why they put that picture out there once they seen that picture everybody knew that Yogati and them were watching this whole young Dolph hit go down this is why people think that it was a whole setup to begin with because they know for a fact that it wasn't just no random occurrence when Dolph already had three other instances where they tried to run up on him not just in Memphis but in Los Angeles and LA they tried to do it in Charlotte but he was one step ahead of him he had the bulletproof truck and everything like that and so when Dolph came back to the cookie shop the last time before he got hit up he drove the white truck so how did they know that he was gonna have he was gonna be there if he was being so low-key this is why people think that whoever got the like the hint that Dolph was gonna be there they ended up sending the address and the whole location to the main people who was the ops of young Dolph because they had money on Dolph's head somebody at the end of the day it was the greed the jealousy and the envy that did it because somebody that was in Memphis they knew young Dolph was the king and that this would be a big thing but after all they were hunt money hungry so they decided to switch up and join Yogati's team and this is when the cookie shop people were panicking in the back room like should we drop the location or not and a lot of people said that you really can't trust anybody these days and you have to keep your head on a swivel because even young Dolph in his final moments when he was at that gas station in the yellow shirt the two days before it happened or the day before they said he was looking around he knew that it was all them people following him six different cars and this is why he had an eerie feeling that the person who was on the other side of the pump there was recording him the whole time this is why the dudes in that gray tahoe and then that car that was parked way across the street that's why they were actually like following him the whole time if you go back and look at the pictures and the footage them same cars were driving by the cookie shop at the same exact time we've seen what happened to kiosha james the witnesses and everybody 
everybody else because they knew what actually happened they knew that it was a setup and they knew that it was somebody from cmg that was seen leaving the scene in the area the people who jumped out the back door of the cookie shop onto that trail and went down pecan lane and george they already figured this out the feds know everything that's going on this is why they're doing the rico investigation right now and they're sitting back collecting all the evidence that now that they raided big jokes office in the cmg headquarters they're going to be able to collect all the documents the, the million dollar check that yo Gotti put on dolph's head and it was dispersed because first yo Gotti gave big jook the money and then big jook gave govan the 100k and then govan gave the shoot like 40k to the actual hitman and everything like that that's why jay fizzle he's saying free straight drop or whatever because jay fizzle actually is part of this whole entire thing where he heard and knows he's in memphis and so he knows what really went down that day and this is why he's advocating for young Dolph. if you guys are actually young Dolph fans i want you to put the Dolph emoji in the comment section let me know what city you're from and everything because this is a actual very serious situation where they're trying to get just is for Dolph quickly it's been over two years and young Dolph mom and everybody from the whole family from the Dolph side they're looking at it like they've been very patient this whole entire time and they're waiting for the feds to come and sweep Memphis because they know as soon as Yo Gotti and them touch down they're going to be able to actually be able to ask him questions and try to figure out is he going to give the same answers that Big Jook gave and Govan gave because Big Jook was ready to actually tell on Yo Gotti he knew that he wasn't going to do 50 to 100 years by himself so he knows that he was gonna actually rat on Yogati, Govan and everybody else to let them know that he wasn't the guy that came up with the idea that it was probably Yogati or Govan they already named Govan Hernandez as the mastermind of this whole thing and so this is why they went and apprehended him and they actually made it to the point where he got booked for this whole thing and released on the ankle monitor there's no way that he would be released if he didn't tell and this is the main reason why he got let go was because he gave incriminating information to pretty much drop it drop the whole entire thing on yo Gotti and big jook then that's when they started to go to big jook and they brought him into the interrogation room and they asked him a several series of questions where he was actually asked about that bentley truck that was seen in the footage because the young Dolph footage has everything laid out front in plain sight where you could tell exactly who was there and who wasn't there and by the looks of it that black bentley truck it was bought by cmg with the cmg money and it was given to money bag yo who he gave as a gift to his girlfriend Ari this is why Ari broke up with him because when the feds came and raided her house they towed away that Bentley truck before they could actually chop it up and send it to the chop shops and split it all across the whole entire country and everything because that's normally what happens when people try to get away with something like this and their car is seen at the place or the plates are found and everything they try to actually sell the car for parts and have a, have a bumper go to Atlanta and then have the whole engine go to Charlotte and this so on and so forth so people that really know a lot about the situation they know that young Dolph never actually drove his car to that place because Dolph backs his cars in everywhere and why was young Dolph car like five feet away from the curb by the time the two guys got there shaking the whole drums and the dracos and everything Dolph was already down on the ground by that time so when they ran up he they didn't even time it the right way because Dolph was actually already down and that's why when the dudes came running out to out of that two door they ran out of that two door and they seen that Dolph was already down that's why they were shaking the Dracos in a downward motion to make it seem like it was actually them doing the Dolph thing and so people know for a fact that Memphis that it was the U-Haul situation it was the whole thing about the location being dropped for the turkey drive and so this is why young Dolph family said that he wasn't home for two whole days if you sit back and you look at the facts of what's happening you would know that this whole revolving door situation leads back to the fact that Dolph was missing for like two days so they had snatched him up at some point because Yo Gotti and them put the hit out and Govan came back to Memphis with Big Jug and they picked Yo Gotti up in the Bentley and they said this is the day that it's gonna happen because he was supposed to end up doing that music video at like early in the morning at the cookie shop that's why Raven who don't even work at that cookie shop she worked at the other cookie shop so they came and unlocked the door and everything to make it seem like they were just opening for business how come when young
young Dolph was like actually at the cookie shop there were no customers at that time they never said any report of any customers or witnesses at the cookie shop or nothing like that the laundromat to their knowledge the laundromat people said that the manager called 911 and they talked to the family dollar manager and they figured out that this whole entire thing was basically a setup because they never seen any of the customers inside any of them stores and then that's when 007 the main primary young Dolph witness gave the interview and in 007's interview, she said that she seen the two guys with tank tops and something in their waist walking out the side of the cookie shop and went inside the Family Dollar store. And when they went into the Family Dollar store, it gave her chills because they weren't even there buying anything. They stood in line like they were waiting for the cashier. And then at the right moment, when everybody rushed to the cookie shop, they where they were able to sneak out the front door and go to 901 Sugar Tray or Raven's allegedly truck and dip out and they actually had the whole thing set up to where it was a lot of people distracting but it backfired on them because it was caught on the footage from Kiosha James and the other girl that was in that gold car circling around the family dollar parking lot there was multiple witnesses on the scene and like they're right how did all them people know how to be there recording before Dolph was even pronounced hit up like as soon as they showed up they were already saying it was Dolph and everything like that so who told them that this whole thing was going down this is why a lot of people say that it's a lot of fishy things going on about how the whole Dolph thing happened and that it's going to end up in the Rico for CMG because they didn't cover their tracks and this is all karma from them basically hating on Dolph when he was the prominent main person who was really helping everybody in Memphis and trying to keep the peace of the whole south him and Gucci man were coming together and they were going to do it big and everything and Yo Gotti got super jealous because he wasn't in on it because he was already ready to snake Dolph and his own artist before this whole thing took off and this is the main reason why he Dolph said that he didn't want to work with Gotti was because he wanted to make sure that he was business partners with the right people who wasn't just going to get greedy and try to have the streets hit you up if you didn't give one penny to them or if you didn't let them eat off your plate and everything like that so I want to send my condolences to Young Dolph if you guys are Young Dolph fans go ahead and like this video share subscribe to the channel and put them dolph emojis in the comment section man